Happy Christmas, Billy. Is Daddy here? No, he's not, love. But you said. I know I did, it. but I promised you'd come later. A mute for me trumpet, you know, makes it quieter. On the sock boot. <laughs> Daddy! No, he'll we'll, we'll be coming soon, darling, yeah? He'll, he'll come over, he'll have lots of fun, won't we? He'll play games, it'd be great, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. Twister? Twister? Yeah, picked it up from the stall. The arrow thing needs mending, but the mat's all right. But Twister? Good, isn't it? What am I, a kid? What am I supposed to do with this? Robbie, don't be so ungrateful. Well, last time I lunch, you played with it with friends, if you've got any. I've got loads of friends, actually. Yeah, inside your You know, just sit around playing Twister. Maybe you should... Billy? Maybe I don't want to. Mm. Grand. Maybe you should thank this for nice time. I just thought it'd be a bit of fun. Wait, wait, stop it, the two of you. Stop bickering. Have you seen Billy anywhere? He's not in his room. Have you tried the airing cupboard? Why? Oh, it's Billy, Mum, who runs. Billy? 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 Mum. Over in half an hour. Listen, never mind that. Get some clothes on. Robbie and Sonia are trying to get some. What's the matter? Billy's gone missing. <sighs> I'm sorry, Robbie, we won't happen until later. No, it's not that. I need help. It's Billy. He's gone missing. Any idea where he might be, Robbie? Sorry, Kath, I've already turned off the square, man. Really? Well, where's Carol now? Well, she's gone back home, you know, just in case. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's all right. Kath, Lorraine, do you want to go and look around a port cabin? You never know, he might be there. Yeah, of course. Come on, Joe. Look, uh, I'll go look over here, yeah? All right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, but look, maybe you should go and look too if you think you can do better. No, and someone's got to be here, Billy came back. I mean, but it was much good if he came back to an empty house. Yeah, all right, house, right. It's a suggestion. That's a stupid thing to say. Well, don't take it out on me. Why not? I think you're a really good person to take it out on. It's not my fault. I'm not saying that. It'd make it easier, though, wouldn't it? If all this was down to me. But see, it wasn't me who made promises I couldn't keep. Promises to Billy, promises to me. So go ahead. Make out it's all my fault. Because it's never yours, is it? No, oh, Alan! Do you want to know whose fault this is? It is our fault! I've never hurt Billy. You knew what you was doing as much as I did. Yeah, we're, we're adults, Alan. And, and when we do things, we have to cope with the consequences. You and Frankie, me and David, you moving out of here, consequences! You're being ridiculous. Frankie's got nothing to do with Billy. I mean, how much you want you want to, you do not live in a vacuum. What you do affects things. This, this, the entire square giving up their Christmas to look for our son. This is the effect of our behaviour. You know, you make out I'm just blaming you, but this is our fault. This is our mess, all of it. You're wrong. I would never hurt Billy. You better pray to God that he is going to be OK. You just... Carol, look. Just go away, Anna. Just, you, you, you need to think this out on your own. Fine. Yes. I'm going to go and join the others. Yeah. 